High in the clouds of the Andes, where the stars once whispered secrets to the earth, a forgotten empire carved stone into poetry. This is the story of the Incas, builders of the impossible. They had no iron tools, no wheels, no modern machines, yet they moved stones as heavy as 100 tons and placed them with such precision not even a blade of grass can fit between. How? Not with brute force, but with wisdom, with patience, purpose, and a sacred connection to nature. They studied the stones, felt their grain, understood their soul. With nothing but stone tools and raw will, they shaped each block over months, sometimes years, until it whispered back, I belong here. This wasn't construction, it was communion. Their walls weren't the only wonders. They built thousands of miles of roads, suspended across ravines, touching oceans and jungles. They mapped the stars, aligned temples with the solstice, and treated the cosmos not as science, but as spiritual family. When earthquakes struck, their stones didn't crack. They danced, because it is said that the Incas built with movement in mind, with foundations that could bend without breaking. Imagine if we lived the same way. What if your spirit could adapt like their walls? What if your foundation wasn't fast-built, but soul-built? In a world chasing speed, the Incas teach us legacy is never rushed. What we build with care lasts, whether it's a dream, a relationship, or a life filled with purpose. So the next time the world feels too heavy, when tools are missing and the path feels unclear, remember the Incas. They didn't conquer nature, they collaborated with it. They built eternal structures, not with power, but with presence. Not with speed, but with sacred intention. Even without tools, I am capable of building something eternal. This is the ancient wisdom still written in stone, and it's waiting for you to remember. Subscribe for more ancient wisdom, Share this message with someone who walks a spiritual path.